KTM 85 video in a long time, well about a year I guess, so mm -hmm. it's time. Uh, this time we wanted Katie to ride this so she can get a feel of what a two-stroke feels like. Um, and then later we're going to swap in a flywheel weight. Hold on, let me go get this thing. Steely, steely flywheel weight. And Katie's going to tell us if the bike feels any easier to ride or harder to ride. The same, better, worse. We'll see. So that's our plan. All right. We're going to take some rides up and down this road uh, for a few minutes. Then we're going to swap this flywheel weight in and see if it makes any difference. Good, good. When you when you pull on that gas, though, you're just like... <laughs> 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 this big much to spin this thing out. Right. This is a race bike. A basin. <laughs> All right, do a couple more laps. Sometimes I'm like, whoa. Oh, yeah. Because you were riding it, like, what gear were you in? Second. All right, so tell us what you think. First time on a two stroke. Feels really good. It's really loud. Uh, 
goes over cracks a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot smoother. Smoother how? Um. Oh, is suspension wise? Yeah. Yeah, it feels better. Mm -hmm. It's more comfortable than the XR. Okay. What are the bad things, if any? I don't like how loud it is. <laughs> okay. In like in in second gear. If I... Katie's been riding in second gear literally the whole time yeah, on the pipe. I did. Literally the whole time. I didn't, I didn't know. So, just saying. Oops. Okay, go ahead. Um. Besides that, I don't see too much. Um. It's a lot easier to change gear. Oh yeah, definitely. And the clutch is. Hydraulic. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. I like it. <laughs> the bad thing. Yeah. Probably is whenever I put my keep my foot down in here, it kind of breaks it. I don't mean to because oh, the brake okay. this brake is so easy. Yeah, you got to get used to where the brake is. Yeah. It's always a little bit different each bike. Yeah. But use that brake. Don't use that front one. Yeah, but this For one's now. just an uphill. It's done. And I'll kind of use this. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I think it helps. Helps what? Slow you down going uphill? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But all in all, it's not as scary as you thought. Mm -mm. It's a little scarier. A little scarier. It's more bike. Yeah. It's a lot more bike. I'm not going as fast as I usually do. You actually are going about as fast. Yeah. You're going really fast. Oh. I don't know. It feels like it because it scares me because I'm just waiting for you to just be just right around one of those corners and just whoop. Whoop. But know. yeah, we're, use third and fourth and... When I'm doing this, it's I cool have to no just cruise fear around. at all. Yeah, I'm with you. It's, I, know, I, know. I have no fear. That's good. It's like, <laughs> that's a bad thing too. Oh good, well we can go on some tighter trails if you'd like. Nope. nope. If you ride a two-stroke, there's this urge to put your kids on a two-stroke because you know how much more fun they are than a four-stroke. Just saying. Leave comments below, I'm sure I'll get some hateful comments on that one. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the thing with getting a kid, Kids to ride two strokes, is they're, especially smaller ones, they're hard to ride. They're very pipey. They don't have a lot of power down low. They have a ton of power up high. Yeah, they don't. Uh, they don't no. Uh, so one of the things you can do, one of the biggest things you can do, there's a few things, right? Gearing. You can change your gearing. We're not going to do that today, but we are going to put a flywheel weight on and see if it tames it down just a little bit. So when Katie's on the pipe in second gear, like she is the whole time she's less likely to she's less here. likely to spin out and hurt herself so that's what we're, we're gonna ride back to the truck we're gonna throw the flywheel on it takes about five minutes it's pretty quick so we're gonna do that uh so obviously we could do this on the trail it's pretty pretty quick uh, i don't know how long it's gonna take 10 minutes 15 minutes maybe i don't know never done one seems easy though anyway let's we'll start with taking off this flywheel cover This guy out of the way. <laughs> we can just tip the bike over on its side to do this. Makes it easier to work on. Put our bolts in here. We also have to take the spark plug out. And we have a way of stopping the piston from moving when we turn our flywheel here, which is super hot because we've been riding. Pull that off this hot thing. Ow, hot. I use that. <laughs> it's a spark plug, buddy. Spark plug. Spark plug. Oh. So we'll take some rope. We're gonna shove that down into the uh, into the piston to stop the piston from Clearly moving. Isn't gonna burn. No, it'll be alright. It just takes about fifty thousand feet of rope. So yeah, we just shove the rope down into the piston. Just keep putting it in there until it won't move anymore, which is a bit of a nightmare. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is take this flywheel nut off. Hey, should look at this. Flywheel nut. <laughs> Holds the flywheel on. <laughs> okay. There we go. Get our steely off-road uh, flywheel weight. It's about 80, 90 bucks, I think. On, uh, from uh, Rocky. I don't remember the place. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna take our flywheel weight. We got this little adapter thing to help us tighten, to torque it down to the correct PSI, uh, which I didn't bring my torque around, so we're just gonna put it on super tight. Do you have anything to add? Um, drive safe. <laughs> drive safe. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Oh, do you want to see an animal carcass? 
No. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a dead animal carcass. Okay. It'll probably get me flagged. Probably. Well, it's just animal YouTube's bones. YouTube's very... F They're friendly. Family friendly. <laughs> dead animals makes people sad. Oh. <laughs> so okay. we're going to take our flywheel weight. And it just starts screwing around. Whoops. Just like so. Can't be afraid of bees. Sorry, don't add that in, please. <laughs> I'm totally gonna put that in. Tighten that guy down to about a. Let me see what the torque is. Not that I can guess this. A lot. We'll just say it's a lot. <sighs> One million foot pounds. Alan had run safer vibes. Come saw. And we're gonna set in the set screws. So these little guys come off to be thrown away or do whatever you want to do with it. The flywheel's on. You put this little uh, spacer in there. Since the flywheel's alone, it doesn't take as much room. Where does it fit? Where does it go? Ah. I, think there. I feel like this thing's in the way. Oh, let's flip it over. There we go. Our original flywheel nut. We'll keep that in a safe space for if we ever take the flywheel off. But for now, we don't put that back on. Be careful not to tighten these down too much. Steel bolts into an aluminum engine will strip out very easily. That's why we use this as opposed to the drill. Okay, that's it, baby. We pull our rope back out. And then we put our spark plug back in. We're ready to ride. <laughs> Snug. Okay, who do you want to show me the carcass? Yeah. Go for it. It's not even a carcass, it's just bones. Whatever. It's a lot. It doesn't go like so easily. I don't know how to 
I don't okay. know how to explain it. Uh, it's, I feel like if you needed to, if you're gonna first start out, then, yeah. oh, if you're gonna start out on a two, two stroke then, okay, gosh. Yeah. Um, but it's a lot smoother. Okay. I think the other one's more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because there's more. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I wondered. You gotta take your helmet off. Baby, you're gonna break your neck. Try to get water to come out of the top of that thing. Uh, all right, let me just jump in here at the end. I, I kind of feel like we didn't get a good gauge of whether or not the flywheel was better for Katie or not. Uh, she said it was smoother, which, good, that's what it's supposed to do. She also said something that was funny. She said, I, she said she didn't think it was as much fun. It was funner to ride the 85 without a flywheel. Guessing because it's unpredictable and, you know, a lot of rear wheel spin, I don't know. I was really surprised to hear that. I should have had her elaborate on it a little bit more. But by the time we got to that point in the day, she was already tired. And I don't think she was super excited about explaining her thoughts and feelings. So I'll just add that, is the flywheel better for fire roads and stuff? Probably a little bit. I'd written it in another video once and uh, you know, it's an 85. You gotta be on the pipe to keep the thing running. But with that flywheel, it just kind of, you could almost put along on it, which was surprising that it was that, made that big of a difference. I would say that as we get into tighter trails, some steeper inclines, anything with uh, loose gravel and stuff like that, the flywheel would make a huge difference. Anyway, I hope this video is kind of educational but i appreciate you watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it maybe consider subscribing probably quite a few more family dirt bike centric videos coming out since the weather's starting to get a little warmer here in colorado and so more dirt bike stuff more jeep stuff anyway appreciate you guys watching thanks good luck